This is Cherry and Harry. Now, in their city of Newark, New Jersey, Cherry and Harry are proud to be the family to know around town. In fact, they believe this young woman, Imani, is desperate to be part of their family. So much so, they claim that Imani is accusing their son, Emmanuel, of being the father of her eight-month-old daughter, Camden. So, Imani, let me ask you this. Uh, are you trying to pin this child on Emmanuel so you could be part of their family? I don't need to be a part of nobody's family. I have my own family. Why would you show us a, a phony DNA? <laughs> It wasn't a phony DNA. Okay, all right. Well, well, well let's... Oh, wait a second, uh, Harry. L l let me set this up, okay? So after Camden was born, about, uh, I think, six weeks or whatever later, you and Emmanuel agreed to have a home DNA test. You all filled it all out. You swabbed both Emmanuel and Camden, and then you sent it off, and you got the results back, and you took them to Harry and Cherry to show them that he was the father. Yes. Except, Harry, you had a problem with all that. What was your problem? My problem was my son's name was on the paper at all. That could have been anybody's paper. And it wasn't only just his name wasn't on there. Camden's name wasn't on there either. So... Or like, either hers. What information are they giving us? There's no information letting us know that that's our son's paternity test or anyone's. If it's a home DNA test, it's not going to be like a legal court or a... And that's yes. why we're here now. Well, everybody's name's going to be on this test, okay? So all right. we're, okay. we're going to find that out, Harry, all right? Okay. Well, okay. Let, me, let me start with Imani. Let's go, let's go back to the beginning. How did you own Emmanuel meet? I was looking to apply for a job, and the job that I wanted to apply for, he was there. I think that was the worst day of life. I mean, <laughs> when, you met, when he met you, when he met you, I wish he would have got the job you to stay where you was at. Because right now, we shouldn't okay. be going through this right now. I mean, we shouldn't. I don't know why we're on this anyway. You're, 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 we're on here because we have doubts about the baby. That's why you're on here. Okay, exactly. well, you don't need to have doubts about her. Listen, listen. Mari, well, Mari, Mari. Why not? Okay. Why not? Emmanuel, jump in here. Mari, I just want to say it's an honor to meet you. And I want to jump to the beginning of the story when me and Amani met. Okay. We did, as she said, we met at a job interview, so, you know, it wasn't a dumpster dive for companionship. We just clicked right away immediately. Okay. So, things are going good. We're seeing each other, you know. Then she gets pregnant. You know that this is your baby, boy. Like, like I said, she gets that. pregnant. And I don't know, things just all it just starts getting... That's when it got complicated, when she got pregnant. Were you happy with it or not, Emmanuel? You knew I mean, you was yes, pregnant if you got there because you already had everything have, planned. I had natural suspicion, if that's okay to say. You didn't push this baby on him, did you? Like, no. No. No, because we it won't let it happen. Two... We're not going to let it happen. Right, that's whatever. why we're here. It takes two people, Maurice, it it take push two people to make a baby. Harry, it's Harry, a possibility Harry. that it could be my like... child. Hold on, Harry. As well as there's a possibility it could not be my child. I just want for short answers today, Maury. That's okay. all I mean. So, Emmanuel, you have doubts, but you're not denying this child fully, correct? Honestly, no, Mari, I can't. I'm emotionally involved with the child, being as though I've already been around the child, spending time with the child, and treating, you know, Camden as my own. Imani told mm. you that she was pregnant, right? And mm. then about three months into her pregnancy, what happened then? He didn't want the baby. That's when allegations started coming up that he wasn't my child's father. I will honestly say and admit to you that... If Initially, no, I was not ready for a child, and that's what I told you. And that's what he told you. That's what he told you. Go he ahead. told you that, but you insisted. But you insisted having this child after he told you. So I'm supposed okay. to get rid of a child just because? No, no, I'm not saying you put my. He said he was pregnant, but you were pregnant at all the time. It seems you were pregnant all the time. Well, wait a second. Know about that wait a, wait a second. I know. Harry. I was pregnant when I started messing wait. with your son. That's a negative. Like, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. You was pregnant when you said you uh, wanted to get pregnant and y'all gonna go to get an apartment. First of all, they saying I came with them with two different dates. First of all, babies are not always born on their regular due date. The not three, three months apart. Dates, but a three month difference. Those that's true. Not three, three months, months apart. Different. When we went, when I went to the doctor with you, Amani, that's the reason why I was like, maybe. You'll have the baby on my son's birthday, and then you and then you said that they said you was having the baby in in March. That's like three months difference. So, you took this home DNA test. You still believe that home DNA test was correct, right, Imani? 
Yes, I do. A hundred percent. He is my child's father. You think Camden looks like Emmanuel? Camden looks like his mother. Ah. Yes, look at them. Like, look at them. I can get up there and look like Buck Rogers, too. Okay, well, just wait for the... Can we get the results now, then? Like, I mean, come on. Come on. Like, let's break, go. Yeah. I'm not about to be arguing with y'all on national television. I'm not asking you. Let's just get to the potential the truth. Let's get to the... I'm telling you the truth. We're just Imani, stating... Imani, I got to ask know. you. I got to ask you something, Imani. Okay. At one yes. point in your life, I think before you got pregnant, you were studying in a criminal justice. You wanted to go into criminal justice. Are you still trying yeah. to do? Are you still trying to do that? Yeah. Are you going to school? Well, you should go lock yourself yeah. up for pretend. So, Harry. Yes. You think because of your stature in town and the way people think about you all is one of the reasons why Imani wants to be part of your family? Sure enough, do. Why? We're well you know, respected. We're I very well respected. We're a loving family. We're a big family. And a lot of people, they look up to us for I different things. We help out the community. Right. And um, I think that's exactly the reason why she want to get this family. We're a very loving family. We're a close knit. We all love each other. And we have a lot of love to give. Well, let me ask you this then. If I prove that this is your granddaughter, will you be loving with, with uh, Imani? Yes, why not? Of course. I mean, because I she would give us right now. I don't have now. anything against her, man. No, I don't have anything against her either. But I just want, I want the truth. There and we will continue to I want the truth. That's it. Well, I want to talk to Emmanuel for a second. Emmanuel, what did you find a couple of weeks ago in Imani's phone that kind of sealed the deal in terms of oh your doubt? Maury, Maury, Maury. I, <laughs> me and Imani, we talk and we share, but. This particular conversation I had with Imani, I didn't feel as though she was all the way open and being 100%. She told me that there was a guy. She never went into detail about how long they were talking. She never told me his name, nothing. You know, she just told me there was some guy, you know? And me having that natural suspicion, one night she was asleep, I just happened to go and open her phone. But I didn't go to her social media, her messages or nothing. I went to the deleted photo album. And little do I know that I would expect myself to find hundreds, uh, a boatload of photos of this gentleman. First of all, that boy was after you. It does not matter. We were broken up. Yeah. Like, I don't that understand baby why. baby looked just you. like him. Yeah, she's Your words to me were you was talking to him okay. from the moment we broke up until we started back talking. So, he so you think? Him as a friend do you think? Or, you think this little girl looks like this other guy? I'm I know sorry. she do. I really do. I really do. Exactly. I'm sorry. She does. I really do. You don't see any similarity with you, Emmanuel? Because I'm emotionally involved, Maury. Of course, I see similarities. Like I said, I'm around Camden. She's the highlight. We of don't date. Anytime I'm with her, and I'm emotionally involved, so I don't. Oh, uh, I get the, I get the feeling you oh want. My nope. God, I mean, no, 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 Emmanuel, no, 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 no. I get Yo, the feeling you, is... you want to be the father. Yeah, no. Do you want to be the oh, father? Oh yes, Maury. I truly hope that this comes out in my favor and that I am the father. And on the other hand, if I want, there's no animosity towards like, Imani. Um, um, no, I, we want to like... know the truth. That's all. Okay, we y'all got the truth the first time. We didn't okay. get it yet, Mister. We about to get the truth. We gonna get the truth now. We about to get the truth now. Second time. You want to get the truth for the no, second no, time? No, no, no. This is the yes, first thing right here. Oh, I see that yellow envelope. All right, all right. That yellow envelope too. All right. Now, like. Yellow envelope. Well, I'm glad to know all of you are familiar with the show. Yes. Yellow is my favorite color. All right. In the case of eight-month-old Camden, Emmanuel. You are the father. Wow. Look at that. Everybody's unanimous. They're all happy. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Imani, Imani. Why are you tearing up? Because I'm mad. Like, I told him this the first Don't time. Be mad. Don't be mad. He told you. Nothing against you. Know? We okay. Just needed to know the so, so anyway, Harry, Harry, yes, Cherry, sir. Emmanuel, yes. 
Welcome yes. this little girl into your family. With That's open all arms. I have. We always have. We always open have. Arms. There we go. <sighs> Look at that bully. Hey, bully. <laughs> Everybody, this is Tyler. Welcome, Tyler. To the show. But, you know, Tyler's only 19. He married his first love, 18 year old Matina. He vowed to be with her through good times, bad times, bitter times, happy times. However, the bad times arrived because Tyler is sitting on our stage and he has to take a paternity test. Four weeks ago, Matina made a stunning confession to Tyler. Not only did she cheat on Tyler with her friend Jacob, But that Jacob, Jacob could be the father of their 10-month-old daughter, Marissa. Now, for the record, Matina told our producers she's in love with the other guy, not her husband. And wants him to be the father of Marissa. How do you feel about that? Your wife wants to be with the other guy and wants him to be the daddy. I hate it. I really do. You were there for the pregnancy. You were there for the birth. You cut the umbilical cord. <laughs> when did she tell you that you weren't the father? Two months later after I was it. <laughs> after I raised that baby. You take a look at the two of you. Who's it look like? Him. Huh? Him? You think it looks like him? Do you still want to be married to Matina? Yes, I do. You do? Here's what everybody doesn't know. As we speak in their household, let me tell you who's living there. Tyler, Matina, the baby, and Jacob. Can you allow him to live with you? Man, it was to either be with her. Huh? It's the, it's the only way I could have been with her. She said, I'm not going to put him out on the streets. If you let him go, you're letting me go. I said, I'm so not letting So that's the only way you could keep Matina was to have him in the house? So I said, I'm not letting well, you let go. Me, no, no, no. Wait a second. So let me see how this is playing out. You and your wife aren't being intimate, but they are? Yeah. Here's what Matina had to say. I was really young when I got married to my husband, Tyler. Tyler and I tried to make our marriage work, but eventually I realized we just weren't good together. I've had a crush on my friend Jacob since the sixth grade. One night, me and Jacob were hanging out. One thing led to another, and we slept together. We had sex one time, and I got pregnant with my daughter, Marissa. I let Tyler believe my whole pregnancy that he was Marissa's father. I kind of feel bad about what happened, but in my mind, my marriage with Tyler was over. One month ago, Jacob came back into my life. I really believe that Jacob is Marissa's father. And Jacob's the one I want raising our daughter. I want Tyler to know when Jacob's proven to be Marissa's father, he better not try to stand in the way of us being a family. Okay, everybody, here's Martina. Welcome her. Matina. It wasn't him. Wait a second. Wait a second. Matina, why are you arguing with him? He's the good guy. He was there all during the pregnancy. He was there and when the baby was born. He is not the good guy. What's that? He is not the good guy. He's not the good dad? No, no I'm not a changer. He's but I let you sleep in my house. like he wants to be a daddy. I she let you sleep him. in my house. Her I've given her back anything? more than you. Jacob's been there months and a half. Have you? Yeah, you've been doing every time in the yeah. past. Wait a second, Matina. Matina I don't see. Nothing. Wait a second, I don't see 
I don't see any regret. I don't see any remorse. I don't see anything from you. I do feel bad, and then again, I don't. Uh, I'm the one she wanted every time I walked out you, that room. You deceived I'm the one him. She cried you for, deceived him you. your entire pregnancy because he believed he was the father. Yeah, I know. arrangements I don't even know Maury it's crazy it's real crazy Matina isn't it kind of awkward to have both guys in the same house do you know how many times I told him I don't love him I don't want to be get out of my leave. house it's my house get out of my house and don't call back okay when he runs off you ain't coming back to me I'll have somebody do that to me. He's been here two months and he is a, a more a better no, father than you ever have been. Father, Matina, let him be my father. You think when that child looks diapers, like you? When she needs wipes, yeah. don't no come cry to me. Like me. No doubt that child looks like me. You want to be with her? Yes, I want to be with her. So you want to be with her? He wants to be with you. What happens if he's the father? Then he's the father. He don't have anything to do with me. The only good news about this story is I got two guys who both want to be the father. That's the only good news. When it comes to Marissa, Tyler, you are not the father. When it comes to 10-month-old Marissa, Jacob, you are the father. Don't come near me. Get the away get away for real don't come near me don't come near me get away for real Tyler, something. in a way son it's much better it's much better this way because it's not your baby all right she doesn't love you you can cut your ties start over and marry a woman that will be proud of you okay coming to us from detroit michigan our jazz and her 31 year old daughter crystal you see when crystal was just 15 years old the man that she and her mom, Jazz, believed was Crystal's father was proven not to be her dad. Now, as you can imagine, this bombshell had Jazz and Crystal scrambling for answers. And now, after some deep soul searching, Jazz remembered there was a guy named Charles, a man who now Jazz believes could be Crystal's father. So, it's amazing. Nice to have you with us, Jazz. When Crystal's 15, you thought that this fellow was, was her father, and, and, he, and he was her father for those 15 years. But then something happened when, when she was 15 years old. What happened? Well, what happened was when Crystal turned 15, the gentleman that I was dating, which was my actual boyfriend, he had um, an insurance policy that he had to get a DNA test from to actually make, to deem Crystal his beneficiary. And it came back that he was not the father. So basically that spent me, Crystal, and him in a whirlwind. And after he got that information, he just basically kicked me and Crystal to the curb and didn't want to have anything else to do with us. And so with that information, the only other person that was before him that I could think of that was close to Crystal's um, demeanor and the gentleman that I had been involved in a sexual relationship was, was Charles. By the way, did Charles ever know that you were pregnant? No, he didn't. So the fact that Charles wasn't around, I mean, you can't blame Charles. He didn't know anything about that. So now Correct. time goes on. How did you hook up finding Charles? 
actually we were out and and just just as chance would have it god would have it it was in the stars i was out and i happened to see charles we were just out just at the store and i saw him i was like oh my god i just saw him and i said let me get your number i said because i need to talk to you and and after i saw him out we exchanged phone numbers i called him and then i and then i i dropped the bombshell about crystal i said we need to get a test because the other guy was not the dad and Charles didn't give me any pushback on it. He he willingly was was all all in, in favor of the having the DNA test. Once I showed him the pictures of Crystal and everything, he said, "Okay." Okay. How long after you found out that this fellow was not Crystal's father, did you run into Charles? Was it years later? Yes. So why didn't you try to find Charles in in, in between? I guess because I was so disappointed in myself. It it just was it wasn't anybody's fault. I was just so disappointed that so much time had passed and I felt so stupid and basically I guess just disappointed really in my own in my own self because I was just flabbergasted and just so dumbfounded by the 15 years that had passed and I I guess I felt like I messed up and I failed <clears throat> Crystal because I got it wrong. Tell me about your daughter. What she mean to you? She's everything. She's my firstborn. She gave me my first grandson. However, we just we just lost him. Um, I just lost. Him. I'm sorry. I, I just lost my grandson. Um, I know. I know. <clears throat> Everybody ought to know that Crystal lost her son when he when he was two years old from 19 a, months from a heart attack. Yes. Um, I just lost him. So that was kind of hard on us and everything. And I just want to get clarity for her. So right. answers for her to at least have some kind of joy somewhere. So are you upset that Charles has not reached out to Crystal? Well, the thing is, Charles had, had made it. He told me that once we had met back up, linked back up, um, that he he had six kids of his own. And, and from a personal standpoint, I don't know what he's got going on with those six kids or what kind of hardships he has endured with his six children. Um I don't know. As a man, maybe he should. I feel like he should have maybe got a little bit more involved or inquisitive as to, okay, is Crystal? Does Crystal really belong to me, or does does it doesn't she? He maybe should have stepped up and said more, or been more more pushy or more forthcoming well, with, well, hey, does Crystal belong to me, or doesn't she? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't force the issue. I, I gave him the information. I waited to see what he was going to do with it. He didn't do anything with it. He just sat back and basically, I guess, just was waiting to see what I wanted to do about it. That's who, what is my best guess. Who called us? Me and Crystal did. Okay. We're going to meet Charles in just a bit, but I want to welcome Crystal to the show. Crystal, nice to have you with us. Uh, hey, Maury. This is a big day for you, isn't it? Yeah. I bet. Certainly. I want to ask you, what when you were 15, I mean, that is such an impressionable age. What happens at 15 that the man who your entire life you felt was your father was proven not to be? The best two words I can use is just numbing, just numbing and just in shock, honestly. I couldn't believe it, just like my mom couldn't believe it. How did your life change after that? Um, well, my life changed because the man who I thought was my father, he became to be distant toward me. And as you say that, I was at a very impressionable age, like my junior year in high school. So that's a very pivotal point to lose such a, you know, like a parental figure in your life. And I mean, I couldn't necessarily be mad at him because, you know, I mean, he was blindsided by it too, but I was really, really torn apart. The only thing I can say that the saving grace was, was his parents will forever always be my grandparents and they never ever treated me differently. They always say, you know, you know, your well, your last name is our last name. You're always one of us. So, I mean, that did help, but I was I was really sad for a long time. You think you needed your father the most recently because of what happened to your son? Well, yeah, definitely. He needs to meet him and I just want to be able to call my dad and bounce ideas off of him. Like right. I need him for so many things. Uh, let's talk to Charles. Hey, Murray, uh, how are you doing? Good. I'm glad you're here. I would be flabbergasted if uh, I saw an old friend and all of a sudden, <laughs> all the all these years later, like, oh, I don't know, almost 30 years later, somebody says, you know, you could be the father of my daughter. What was that like? Kind of caught me off, off guard, a little shocking. Uh, 
almost didn't believe it right away because I didn't see a, didn't see a picture or anything with of, of Crystal at the time. So um, I just kind of I, I heard her say it, but I just went on about you know after that went on about my 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 day after that, and until we got a chance to talk later on. But why did you just go about your day like? Because actually, I, actually, I didn't know uh, and until we found out exactly. I mean, because she just said it's a possibility I could be. And I said, well, OK, if, if, if so, if I am your father, I would love to be in your life. I would love to be in, in, involved with you. But if, if I'm not, then we just had we had to find out first. But that was a couple of years ago, Charles. You didn't press the point, did you? No, I didn't. And because uh, when after I talked to Jazz, she said she was going away to California for a minute, and I talked to her maybe once or twice after that, and and then we lost contact after that until a few uh, maybe a year. Yeah, I just feel like so. y'all both could have just nipped it in the bud a long time ago. If I definitely would have known prior to, definitely we could have did it. I had no problem. I had no problem with uh, doing a DNA to see if mm -hmm. you are my child. Mm -hmm. Okay. Charles, you think you look alike? We favor. It's we favor. Yeah. D but uh, like I say, uh, we don't know if uh, once the DNA test comes back to prove if I am or not, right. that, that'll be the only, you know, only way. And then my other children, they look exactly, you know, my my genes are very strong. So Crystal, does, look, Crystal doesn't look like your other kids? Uh... It's some dance yes. features there. What are you prepared to do if I prove that uh, you are Crystal's father? Well, I will step up, and uh, if she wants me to be in her life, I definitely will be in her life. I have no have no problem with 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 being your dad or and getting to know you, so we can go move move forward. The past I can't bring back, but I would love to. I just want to know. know find out I just want to know what happened a year ago. That's all I want to know. What happened a year ago that made you press pause? That we had to get to twenty twenty. Nothing press pause. Your mother never. We never discussed uh, getting a DNA test that I can remember. Well, I can't do anything about the past, but I can do everything about 2020. Okay, because we're here. In the case of 31-year-old Crystal Charles, you are not the father. <sighs> wow. Jazz, yeah. I know it's been a long time, but if you need us for anything in terms I of do. another person, please mm -hmm. uh, contact Jessica, our producer, and she'll okay. be uh, move this forward. I know, Crystal, this is not the, the answer that you wanted, but Charles, thank you very much for appearing. You're welcome. I, I you're thank, welcome. I thank you. Uh, you're, not, you're not the answer that Crystal was looking for. Two years ago, we met a determined young woman named Shauna. You see, Shauna came to the show to prove to her husband, Nick, that he was the father of both of her children, Gabriel and Elijah. Why was Nick denying these two adorable children? As you're about to see, it all came down to race. I have never cheated on my husband, Nick. And for him to deny my two baby boys is despicable. When my son, Gabriel, was born, everything was cool. It wasn't until my youngest, Elijah, was born when everything fell apart. Nick took one look at Elijah and said, whose child are you? And that broke my heart. Anyone with eyes can see that my kids don't look the same, but they still have the same father, and that's Nick. I can't explain how genetics works, but I can explain one thing. Nick helped me make these babies, and now I can't believe he's doing this to us. When it comes back that these two kids belong to Nick, I want him on his hands and knees begging for forgiveness, or this marriage is over. So what is the thought of your husband denying these kids do to you? He knows for a fact those kids are his. Yeah. I didn't make these kids by myself, he knows. So obviously, if he thinks he's not the father, he thinks you were messing around. I married him. Yeah. You know who I am. I know those kids are mine. They don't look like me. You know, it's very interesting, though. When you all take the kids out in public, yeah, people kind of look around, don't they? What all they... the time. But if you want to look at the kids, let's look at the kids. But you know what? They do look 
different, don't they? I never ever denied that. They, I know they don't look alike, but I know for a fact those two kids are his. Okay. Yeah. So you never cheated on him, right? In fact, I never ever cheated on him. Did you have a problem him. with him? He cheated on me. Oh. From the very beginning, he cheated on me. I'm you supposed to be in cheated. You could have did the same thing. Working. I'm supposed to have my own life. I gave up everything for him. Everybody, here's your husband, Nick. Nick, come on out. These kids look nothing like me. Nothing like me. Have a seat over here. Hi, Nick. Have a seat over Good here. Good to see you. How are you? Good, man. Have a seat. Have a seat over there, husband. How y'all getting along? Look like me. How are you getting along these days? A little difficult. A little <laughs> difficult, right? So you have doubts about being the father of both these kids? Absolutely, Mari. Absolutely. I mean, you, you know see for it. a fact you those kids it. are yours. I love you. You are It could be, it could be yeah. someone else's. I know they could. I know they could. Okay, let's start with the oldest one. All right? You think Gabriel looks like you? I mean, if you look at Gabriel, look at. He looks just like her. Just like her. Just Everything there. about That's her me. is you. Not me. That's not me. And what, and, what me. Ab and what about Elijah? He resembles me more. Yeah. But... That's your baby. You know that's your baby. Yeah, you can see it. I can see that. I can see maybe. Get out of my face. Look, look. You know that's you. Just that you just because he's tan. You look at the two together. Tan. They're two different complexions. Total. They look like they have different fathers. Say what you want. Everybody. I gave up everything for you. Everything. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the tests come out. We'll see how the tests come out. Okay. So, how do y'all's families handle this? Do they do they see any difference here? Everybody in my family wants to talk about how oh they must have got mixed up at the hospital like something must have happened. Oh, I see. Like, oh, there's whispers behind closed doors that you know she's messing around, and I'm hearing all this stuff, and it's like you know that's gonna weigh on my mind. Didn't I give up college for you? You did. All right, but that doesn't right, mean that doesn't up. mean that you put this stuff down. Sit down. Where are the results? I want to see the results. You think your marriage will be better if you find out you're the father of both of these? Absolutely. That's all I want. Okay. I want these kids to be mine. Absolutely. <laughs> In the case of six-month-old Elijah, Nick, you are the father. What about Gabriel? Let's see about Gabriel. No, you know it. Let's see about you knew Gabriel. It. You knew Let's it. see about you knew Gabriel. It. You knew it. And you're gonna find out. We'll see. We got and one more. You're gonna yet. find out why. In the case of 22-month-old Gabriel, Nick, you are the father. <laughs> After that show, Nick apologized to Shauna, and they just celebrated their sixth wedding anniversary. They also recently welcomed their third child. We're going to introduce these two women to each other for the first time ever. Oh. This, this is Janelle. Janelle, I want you to meet Diamond. Nice Diamond, meet I want you to meet Janelle. Yes, Will. Yes, Will. You see. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yeah. They are both here to battle the same man named SP. Yeah. 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 Stop it. Both Play these women much. claim. Cut it out. Both these women claim they heard the same seven words from SP. I want to have your baby. Oh, oh. hell no. Oh, hell I want no. you to have my baby. Today, one year later, SP is denying that he fathered Janelle's daughter, Coriana, and Diamond's son, Pharaoh. Look at those two. How cute are they? But these are his reasons why he's denying. Watch this. I traveled all the way to Connecticut from the Murray Show to find out if these two kids is mad. 
Mids and Neil, we cool. But at the same time, I've been hearing a lot of BS. And I want to find out if her shorty man too. Which Neil got pregnant with Coriana like, we wasn't even rocking with each other like that at the time. I just don't think I can make girls to be real. As for Diamond, we got so drunk that night, I don't even remember waking up next to her naked. I don't know why all these accusations been put down on me. It's just because I got swag, you feel me? I want America to know if it's mad. I'm going to step up to the plate. But if it's not, <laughs> I'm gone. How about what you just heard? Gag and a half. Gag and a half? Gag and a half. I can't laugh hard enough, OK? Right. I can't laugh hard enough. Why? What is ridiculous? That we wasn't rocking like that. You you and your homie was traveling all the way from one state to another to pick me up winter time. His homie got the tickets to prove it. <laughs> and why are you angry, Diamond? I'm angry for the simple fact is he asked me for my child. Hey, you learn like a a get, get up. <laughs> before, so when I first met you, he's always oh, well, he ain't never called me Diamond, he called me Princess. I've been Princess. princess. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Janelle, did you all plan this, baby? I wasn't planning on having no more kids. He wanted a little girl. He wanted. He well, wanted I don't understand. I already if, had you for one. If he I says, have a hard enough time getting him to kick in for the two that been here. Why would I do it to myself oh. again? Got me uh, twisted. So you have two others by him. Two older boys by him. And wait, hold on. And then on top of that, the reason why it ain't his is because all he got is boys. You seem to not remember what kids you got when you got you got your little girl that you asked for. Now I don't make girls. Boy, shut up. Shut up. I'm how, many, how many children do you think he has? More than you can count on your fingers and toes, probably. So right now, more he working on half a football team. Don't you know what he told my producers? What'd he tell him? You tricked him. You're a trickster. Trick? Trick? Look at this, baby. This all trick right here. Ain't oh, no trick about no, this. Right. Your child. Do they think you think they look like brother I think and sister? Kids look Man, like look at them eyeballs. I wish yeah, I could put yeah, my head back on the like dishes. You see them dishes on the side of her head? Straight up. Right, right there. Up in there. Bow. Bow. Straight up. I mean sh These are the guys right there. Okay. What you think, Mari? What do I think? On this show, I don't think. I've been around too many corners. <laughs> Something yes, like that, that's though. my thing, too. Why would you want to deny my baby? I could see if my son was ugly or something. My son is <laughs> handsome. My son is intelligent. My baby is smart. You know what I'm saying? I got my baby. He loves music, all type of stuff. I can see if my baby was ugly. You want to deny him? That's fine. My baby's sexy. Do you hear me? My baby is sexy. I saw your baby. He's not only sexy, he's, he's, a, he's big. He's I big. I got a big little man. You don't want to be a man? I got one, baby. I'm All right, here's right. SP. SP, welcome. Here he is. Wait a second. It should be a to see me, baby girl. It should be a question you mark, you so don't remember. You're too Everybody much, be quiet. Right I want to tell everybody about SP. He is so sure that he is not the father, he has minus percent on his head. Negative! <laughs> Negative! Get him close up! Get him close up! Negative! No zero! That's very creative. Yeah. That's stupid. That's stupid, huh? That's stupid. Well, it's going to be stupid if you're proven to be the father of these kids, that's for sure. Jump on you. That's crazy, man. SP, good to see you. Man, it's good to see you, too. Murphy, man, I'm so glad to see you, man. <laughs> SP, they look like you. Let me see, man. Oh, get look. 
keep it 100 with you, Murray. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This baby right here, shorty, she look okay. I'm a smooth looking dude, but that baby way too pretty. Too pretty. Way too pretty for both. Right, big. This baby don't even look the same since the first time I seen him. I'm just keeping it right. Hey, 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 SP. I've been looking the same how about, forever. How about her two older kids? You with them? Man, y'all wouldn't give me a test for them, man. I want them all tested. Oh, we can't I come back. I want them all tested. Oh, we can't come back. Want them all. No, that we you know can't come back. You got to understand, yeah. Murray. You yeah. got to understand, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a smooth dude. You know, I'm rapping. I got cars. I got a good job, man. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. Oh, hey, I'm doing me, you Murray. I'm doing me. You doing you, you and you left. Do. I'm doing me. Straight up. back home. You remember? Man, I'm you see I'm, I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. Do you remember? See me calling from there. This ain't the first time you call me, Murray. Oh, really? Man, there's too many of these females out there, man. Come on. Do you remember being with her? Man, I remember getting me drunk. Getting you drunk? No. No. Okay, all right, everybody. If you're the father of either or both of these kids, you're going to be in their lives. Man, where I live, it don't matter. They're going to take your money regardless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're going to get that's that sad, cash. That, that's all you think about. That that's cash. all you heard. That's all you that heard. Cash. When he said, are you going to be in their life? All Murray, you heard you was money. Murray talking. Murray talking. You know nobody okay. talking. Murray. You a bum. Let's do that, Murray. Murray. Let's, Let's do that. that. They, they still talk. See, she don't want to hit a test. That's why she keeps talking. When it comes to Diamonds Baby, one-year-old Pharaoh. Maybe, maybe not. SP, you are the father. <laughs> SP. <laughs> SP. When it comes to one-year-old Coriana, SP. You are not the That's the baby I've been taking. Janelle, he's not. He's not the father. You are me. No, he's not. You are me. We'll be glad to test anybody you want, all right? We'll be glad to test anyone you want. That is that crazy, an, though. Know, like an honest mistake. Yes. You didn't want him? You didn't... No, I didn't want him to be my baby daddy. Why? Because, boy, you don't do nothing for my he baby. He I do all that. I do all that. I buy shoes. I buy diapers. I buy white. SP. I'm struggling to take care SP. of your child that you don't care nothing about. You got to take care of this child now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. Today, we've witnessed some pretty heated paternity conflicts. And that reminds me of a woman named Lauren who came on our show to prove to Tyler, her boyfriend, that he was the father of her daughter, Kaylee. You see, Lauren admitted to cheating on Tyler one time, which planted the seeds of doubt in Tyler's mind. Now, Tyler's cousin, Gunner, was here. He was on Tyler's side. But Gunner's fiance, Maria, was in Lauren's corner. Watch. I don't think I'm the father of Lauren's daughter, Kaylee. And Lauren can thank herself for putting us in this mess. Lauren has been lying and cheating on my cousin for way too long. And I'm here to put an end to her games. I always had doubts about being Kaylee's father. Since day one, Lauren used to cheat on me with other guys. There's no way that Tyler's the father of that little girl. Everyone in town knows that Lauren can't keep her legs closed because she's nothing but a hoe. Lauren better hope that Kaylee is my daughter. If I find out that I'm not the father, then I'm done with Lauren's ass. That is his baby. That looks just like him. Do you not see this? Okay, but here's the deal. 
Just a few days ago, you made a decision to come clean, right? Yes. And What'd I, you tell him? What'd you tell him? I told him that I was I cheated on him one time, oh. and it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake, a big mistake, and I apologize. But that does not mean that Tyler is not the father to Kaylee. It looks just like her. Look at this. Look, look, look at the nose. Look at this. Okay, all right, all right. But here's the thing. People have been trying to break you all up ever since you started going with each other. Gunner. Why? His cousin. His cousin because, Gunner, right? Yes, because he does not know how to stay out of my and Tyler's relationship because he Stop needs to lying. worry about himself. No, that's not his bad. <laughs> But Lauren, but, but, but. if you slept with another guy around the time you got pregnant, why are you so sure that he's the father? He is the father because I slept with him more than once. Not twice, more than once. Okay. So his cousin Gunner is pushing back on you, right? Correct. But by the way, Gunner's fiance, Maria, she's here, right? Correct. And she's in our audience. You're on her side, aren't oh, you? Yeah, of course I'm on her side. I'm sorry, everybody. Look, have y'all not seen? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, what do you think of uh, Tyler and your fiance? They're both some fools. Yeah. Did you not see the pictures? Did y'all not see the pictures? I'm sorry, honey. They're both some fools. So you're confident. That Tyler's the father of. of Am I confident? Okay. Can I come up here? Excuse me, Maury. Okay. No disrespect or anything, honey. Can I get those pictures back up here, somebody, please? Look at this! Look at this! My oh, baby! Hold up, honey. Hold up. Look that baby ain't got no forehead. He got a five head just like him. Yeah. No offense, either one. Look that is at baby. This. Look at this! Tell oh me that is not his baby! That is his baby! Look at the ears! Look. Everything! I'm sorry, Maury. I'm sorry, can you, you give me sit? a seat? Yes, can yeah. I please stand up here? Sit she right is not alone. Sit, sit right down there, okay? Thank you. Well, let me ask you this. Maybe you and your fiance are gonna break up over this. Are you all gonna oh, break up? We've been up? fighting over this for a minute. That's why I can't wait for those DNA tests to come back. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. So he can finally shut his mouth and move on. Get in his own business. He's worried about our relationship. Stop worrying about theirs. Yep. He act like he want to sleep with her instead. <laughs> And you think it's all about the looks? Well, look, 100%. when he first got the picture, he came to us. He came over to the house and he says, what do you think? I said, I don't know. Put her face right here, let me see. Look up like this. That's your baby. There is no denying that child. <laughs> That's simple. There is no denying that baby. Look, look, has Tyler been a good father? No. He, he hasn't been a good anything. father? No, nothing at all. He doesn't buy diapers. He doesn't buy wipes. He doesn't buy anything. I do everything with him. It's not my kid. So you think, so you think if you prove that he's the father, he's going to get into oh, a Oh, no, life. look, family means everything. That's why I don't understand what is going on with them. That they're I'm not in his baby. Support. They're not <laughs> giving him what she's right from their child support. Yeah, I'm going for child support. All right. We might as well meet Tyler and your fiance, Gunner. See what they have to say. Here they are. Oh! 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 Gunner, good to see you. Tyler, have a seat. None. Okay. This is my cousin. That's a whole random. told you a few days ago, didn't she, Tyler? Yeah, she told me that she's been sleeping around. No, no, she said one time. It don't matter. It you don't think matter. it's more than one Nothing. time? Yes, yeah, I know it's more than one time. It was one time. I've been once, telling her. Once. people come up to me and tell me, Buku oh, whatever, I've been telling her as soon as she got one. Whatever, whatever. Everybody says. Like, it doesn't matter. What proof you got? We're going to have proof Messages. today. DNA test is set today. And when it comes down to short, you can step into your own lane to kiss my ass. Tyler, did you have any doubts before she told you she slept with somebody? I had doubts since day one. I knew she was sleeping around. You weren't worried about no. that when you was it were you? Me, but that's okay. You made me sleep. You think that little girl looks like you? Yes. Look at this. Yes. Look at this. 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 Look at this.
Baby, look you and me got that forehead or what? Look at his chin. Look, the look baby this, got a butt ears. chin. Look he ain't got ears. no butt chin. Don't Honest, you got no. a butt chin underneath this? That's well, me. That's I'm not your, him. I'm your woman. I should know. Whatever. Gunner. How are you getting along with your fiance these days? Never. It's hard. Barely. It's hard. She's my fiance, barely. but taking the side of her. Barely. This is my cut. This is blood. It doesn't matter. That's a whole random person. Okay. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. So, so Gunner, is... you've heard all these rumors about her? Yeah, I've told him before he got with her. It don't matter. Not to. He wasn't worried about her past when he was a Was he? Was he? Was he? And why are you so worried about it? Are you wanting to hit it? What? By the way, what's the baby's last name? And whose name is that? My ex's last name. He lied to me this whole time. No. Didn't know the baby had her last, the ex's that last, last name. name. Tyler wasn't there whenever the baby was born. Because because so there's a doubt he knew she was pregnant. Okay. Why did he step well, up Well, if a doubt was there, why is it there still a doubt? Because it was, I was one time, one night, one it was night, one time, but one, night. Oh, one night, and you go thing. back to and my then you lied to due him date. about it. You go back to my due date, and it completely adds up to when me and Tyler lay down in the bed. Thank you. If it added up, Thanks. why you didn't add it up in the beginning and bring him? Why are you worried you keep about lying now? About you wasn't worried about him, like I said. Tyler. You're gonna get in that little baby's life. It's your, if no. it's yours. Yes, yeah, I will. Okay. I will supply everything. I'll do everything for that baby. Hey, I'm gonna be a man and be that kind of thing. He sold that to Amari, but this baby is his. Yeah. He done practice our death. You hear yeah. that? Oh, boy. In the case of four-month-old Kaylee Tyler, you are not <laughs> the father. I'm okay. I told you, I ain't letting you do that to her. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where they went? I told you. You don't let him run your stage. Look at me. You knew there was a doubt. You told him there was a doubt. You were honest. You hear me? You were honest. What you mean? I was honest. I told him from get go not to get with her. At least you was honest. There's a bunch of bitches out there that ain't even honest. You hear me? I told you, son. You knew that didn't bring you down. Stand up. I'm not gonna let you just ruin your life like that. Look at me. Don't jump all over her now. It don't matter. You ain't alone. Okay. Because I don't care what that says. I'll still be there. You ain't alone. Okay. Lauren, you'd be glad to bring another fellow on if you want to test him. Okay. All right. It's okay. You okay with this? Maria, it's you're okay. all right? It's okay. She was honest about it. It'd be different if she wasn't. Okay. She don't need to be alone. Nobody needs you to be alone. Any, you got any apologies to make to him? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I really sorry. am sorry. Now, what about next time whenever I say something, you're just going to agree with me or you're going to go with a Baby, if I don't feel like it's right, person. it's not going to be right. If Thank I feel you. like you're wrong, you're wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'll apologize later. All right. That's cool. <laughs> it's been two years since those shocking results. And here's the update. After that show, Lauren and Tyler got married. And get this, Tyler is now raising Kaylee as his own child. Because of that, Lauren has put her search for Kaylee's biological dad on hold. So we wish them all the best. Everyone, this is Susie. Welcome, Susie, to the show. Now, I want to show you something. I want to show you a photo of Susie's son, Fernando. You see, on October 10, 2010, 22-year-old Fernando was shot to death. And while Susie should be mourning the loss of her son, she has instead found herself in the middle of a bitter dispute. You see, Susie says this woman named Regina has come forward claiming that Fernando is the father of her now one-and-a-half-year-old son, Rashan. However, Susie doesn't believe it. She denies that claim. Watch. Losing a son is something that no mother should ever, ever experience. I have been trying to mourn my son for two years, two years, but I haven't been able to do that because Regina is taking me through all of this tragedy. Fernando is not, is not the father of that kid, Rashawn. Let me repeat it. He is not the father. Regina was never Fernando's girlfriend. She did anything she wanted to get, whatever she wanted, when she wanted it. Regina might have some people fooling in this family, but not me. I will fight to the end to make sure my son legacy lives on, but not through this kid. Now, this conflict goes much deeper than even that. 
You see, Fernando's father, Kenneth, and Fernando's aunt, Joanne, disagree with Susie. And they have welcomed baby Rashawn into their lives. And we're going to hear from them a bit later. But you say it's not about DNA. It's not about DNA. It's about uh, uh, obsess. It's about obsessed. Regina was stalking my son. What did he say to you? Regina came to my house and told me, she knocked on the door and said she was waiting on Fernando. I'm like, hmm, Fernando always call me and tell me mama let my company in and keep him comfortable or whatever. I said, okay, so I call him Fernando on the phone. He's like, mama, get her ass out of there. I don't want no part of her. And she was far down the street, stalking him. Stalking? Stalking him, watching to see who he with. Come on now, move on. Get, get, go, go, bye. You sound like you haven't been able to grieve for your I son. I haven't been able to grieve since all of this bull crap been coming on. I mean, if anybody know, I'm the mother. Joanne, Kenny doesn't know, none of them know. I know because I've been there with my son. What happens if this is your grandson? If this is m my grandson, I'm gonna apologize. I want some part, some part but you of don't my think, son. But you don't think I this is wrong? No, 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 no. Does he look like your son? Deep down in my heart, he looks nothing like my son. Nothing. Look at him. Look at him. She don't know who the father is. When you were with your son, mm -hmm. did Regina say she was pregnant with his she, child? Yes, I remember that day like it was yesterday. She comes up, and you know, a parent, a mother, you know, always want to see what their kids she are. Lying. Somebody got to say to them. So I'm easing up listening. She's just like, you know, Fernando, I'm pregnant. I'm like, what? That is not my son, baby. That is not my son, baby. She then struck up a relationship with your ex-husband. And, and your ex-sister-in-law. Yeah, that's how she is. She just wants some part of Fernando. She's so obsessed. I mean, she wants to be the one you to go You get along on. with your ex-sister-in-law? Yeah, Joanne? I get along with her. We talks, you know, but... Did you but ask her why did you bring... She's saying that she still wants everybody to know that, you know, Fernando has a kid out here. It's not Fernando kid. She wants some part of Fernando. Regina, of course, has a completely different story. Yes, she does. This is what she said. Fernando was my baby. I loved him. He was always there for me. I was devastated when Fernando got killed. I was pregnant and had to find out that my baby daddy had got killed. I didn't know what to do. I was hurt. I'm angry with the way Susie been treating me and my child. We don't deserve this. Fernando knew in his heart that was shine was his. It was his mother, Susie, that was trying to convince him otherwise. She wanted Fernando all to herself. I'm so thankful that Kenneth and Joanne accepted me and my son into their family. Rashawn bring them so much happiness, happiness that Susie is missing out on. And I'm here to tell her that Fernando is the father of my child. Everybody, here's Regina. Welcome, Regina. Hi, Regina. Regina, nice to see you. How you doing, Maury? Just fine. Okay. Is that the father of your child? Yes, it is. Wants you to think be. they look alike? Wants yes. to be. Doesn't look nothing like yes. him. Yes. Doesn't look nothing yes. like him. Boy. Doesn't look nothing like him. Look at my son. My son is handsome. And okay. my baby not. Uh, and my baby not. not. And come whatever, to think but about it, he looks like son. you. No, he and come to think about it, he looks like you. He looks like you. He looks like you. Regina. Great. I was never no Regina, stalker. You, hey, we're, that's what she says. You were a stalker. How about I was a stalker when Fernando met me? He met me at my job on the clock. You used to come over. Did Fernando, did Fernando ever say to you that you this, my is woman. Not, this is no, not his son? No, no. When, when I told him, when, 
When I came over, I drove my red granny yes, over her house yes, you and did. told Fernando yes, you did. that I was pregnant. Yeah, he was did. like, well, he if said, you want to get an abortion, abortion. Whatever, abortion or whatever, have, sir, I'm going to help yes. you. He never said that wasn't his child. Okay. So where did that come okay. from, Susie? You, you don't know who baby that is. Susie. Okay. <laughs> you don't know who baby that is. No, 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 no hold up. Listen, no, listen, listen. Regina, Regina, does Joanne think that that's of her nephew? Yes. Fernando's father, Kenneth, and his Aunt Joanne yes. are an active part of Rashawn's yes, life. And this is what they say. When I got the phone call that Fernando had gotten his shot, it was one of the worst day of my life. My son Fernando was my world. He was my oldest son, and I loved him with all my heart. Baby Rashad is all that I have left to him. I really feel that Fernando sent Rashawn to us so we know that he lives on. He never part of him here for us. I missed out on a lot of things in my son's life, and I know I can never get that time back, but I hope with baby Rashad, I can make up for lost time. I feel like Susie's missing out on a lot of wonderful times. These are precious moments she will never get back. These DNA results will bring Fernando back into our lives. That's why it's very important to get the results today. Unfortunately, this is some story. <laughs> Kenneth was unable to travel to the show today. But everybody, please welcome Joanne. Aunt Joanne, here she is. Hi, Joanne. I love you. I thought you were my fault. I love you. But that's my nephew, Sam. You lied. You lied. No, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Joanne, sit down. He is a liar. He is a liar. Sit down. Sit down. He is a liar. Okay, talk. Why are you so sure it's your nephew? Because the baby, I tell you, he came to me when he was seven months old. My brother, when he sleep, he grind his teeth. So this he, is his baby, because the baby grinds his teeth. No. 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 He he grinds his teeth. You can say what you want to say. And you can say what you want to say. He look like my nephew. He look just like my nephew. Make his teeth. Make his teeth. Make his teeth. Never seen so much screaming yeah. in a family about a story in which uh, a young man tragically dies yeah. at such an early age. Right, and who don't want a child that been dead or killed or whatever have a child out here? All it's I want to ask you, Susie, one thing: mm -hmm. if this is your grandchild, mm -hmm. you're going to say you're sorry to yes, a lot I of am. people. Okay. When it comes to one-year-old Rashawn, Fernando is not the father. <laughs> Eleven years ago, everyone, we met a young woman named Kimberly who paternity tested two men to figure out which one of them was the father of her daughter, Alea. In the end, it turned out that neither man was the father. Now, today, Kimberly is back. She says she remembers that day because that's when her life began to spiral out of control. So before we find out why she's back, take a look at that first appearance. Alago has not did a damn thing for me and my baby. When I find out Kimberly had cheated on me, I was devastated. Tony was there every night to rub my stomach. He catered to me. Have you thought about the possibility that Alonzo's the father? Yeah, deadbeat. How you just gonna run away? Kimberly is known for the skank whore. She slept with the whole neighborhood. You already know this is your baby. I ain't never leave with you. I ain't never leave with you. If you knew that there was a possibility that you were the father, why you run? Why you run? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? How you going, man? If it's, huh? if it's mine, if it's mine, I'll take care of the baby. Okay. When it comes to eight-month-old Alea, Alonzo, you are not. Oh! Alea, Tony, you are not. Oh! Got a friend up there. 
Okay. So back then, Kimberly admits her life was spiraling out of control. She was hanging out with bad people, making very bad decisions. Decisions that eventually, believe it or not, landed her in jail for three years. Now, today, Kimberly is clean. She's sober. She has a job. But now there's a new DNA situation she needs to face because Kimberly has a son named Kemper, and she needs to prove to this man, Chris, that he is Kemper's father. Okay, Kimberly, you say that you and Chris have a baby. It's supposed to be his first baby, so I'm very, I was very excited. We was both very excited. And then when Kemper came, everything went downhill. We're going to get to that because you blame one person for all of the drama that is now surrounding Kemper and paternity. And, and who's that person? That is Chris's nephew, Trey. I don't understand why he's even here today. Here's the thing. Chris was there all during the pregnancy. Chris has a good job. He's a long-haul truck driver. He drives all over the place, but he was there all during your pregnancy. He, by the way, took a plane at the last minute because he was on a job to get there for the birth. And what happened was, when Kemper comes out, Chris sends the picture to his family, and, yep, and Trey gets immediately back to him and says, that's not your baby because that baby's too light. Yeah, don't sign this. Don't sign that. It was just a completely don't do anything. That is not your baby. The baby is too white. But what what Trey failed to realize is my mom is white. I am white. You 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 see, he he has blue eyes, gray eyes. That came from my mom. That's a white man's baby, more. Really? That is not a white man's baby. You, Trey, you know how many times I've heard that That's on my show? Hundred percent. That is not a black man's baby. Well, I'm hundred percent sure that is Chris's baby, and I'm here this today to truth. prove that to you, I his family. So. Chris and everybody else. Yeah, but Kimberly, so. here's the thing, all right? Mm -hmm. Until now, Chris has never had a child. And he said and he says that the doctors told him because of a certain situation that he can't have children. Right. Okay, he he claims he has surgery and he had a cyst. I think he's lying. I have never heard of that. And 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 at the end of the day, you don't know what God has stores for you. I believe he's lying. Yeah, well, why would I, I lie? Why would why would he lie to you? No reason for that. This is my I mean, first time hearing about this. Okay. I mean, I've been telling you this the whole time, though. Come on, Miller. I have a misconception here because I believe that Chris's doubts came from his nephew. From Trey. He, from Trey. He saw the picture of the baby. It came from the whole from family. Trey. It didn't, it didn't and, just come from didn't just And the family. But wait a minute. It came from the whole family. But wait a minute. Hold on. Chris has other reasons you just, for the doubt. You just start right, telling Chris? the truth. Yes, yes, yes. It's just because not, of the way we it's met. Just not, because it's, of the way we met. Right. Exactly. It's so sketchy. Exactly. It's so sketchy. But the way it's we so met. It's so sketchy. Mari, they met on the lot. Oh, Trey, you be why? quiet. Trey, Trey, why no, Trey was, you why be quiet. Okay, Trey, it doesn't matter how. Trey, it doesn't hey. matter. I'm going to get to you, Trey. All right? It doesn't yes, matter sir. how yes, we met. Okay, Kimberly, let me get this straight. You 100% sure that Chris is the father? Absolutely, Murray. I can't even have. Sure. I can't have. Divided by two. Divided by two. You know what I'm saying? Second, Trey. <laughs> yeah, Chris. To be, to be to be honest with you, uh, more. I okay, well, that's why, we're here. A, that's why I, we're here. That's why we're here. Wait a second. Go ahead, Chris. I had a situation that occurred uh, when I was earlier in youth, and um, I had an operation. Uh, I removed the B9 cyst, and from that point on, I never. After that point on, I never conceived with another lady. So okay, you know, but I from, thought you had twins. I thought you was pregnant with twins. That was before the end. That was before the end, though. That was before the end, though. So, I got all know. this set up now, Trey. This is very How interesting. You, doing, you are the nephew, and, and you're giving the uncle all of this knowledge. He has been through, you know, a lot, and uh, I've been right there beside him, you know, so, the whole time. Here's the uh, thing: you believe he is a very good man, right? And he has been very good to Kimberly. She know that. She know that two more. Chris, she admits you've been good to her. After she told you what she was all about and all of her past, right? You took right, it in. Indeed. You took it in. You accepted it, and you moved on with her, okay? And she still right. became a leech. Whoa. Why? Why is she a leech? We have never even met her. He never talked about her. None like that. He just posted a picture and said, 
Hey, this what? might be my possible. This might Trey, be my possible. Trey, you have never met me. You have never Look, met me, Trey. Why are you uh, trying to destroy Maury, my family? Can I, can I, can you can I know please nothing talk? about me. Why are you can judging me? Talk, you don't Maury, know me. Is okay, I got, it. Can I, please talk? I got it. Come on, man. I got it. Please talk. So, Trey, is it because of what Chris told you and the family about her? That made you think this way? Yeah, Chris. Chris yes, told sir, him everything first about off, me. First and off, that's why uh, let they... me talk, please. Let me talk, please. That, let me talk. That please. is a white first man's off, baby, Maury. Come first on, man. Off, yeah. First off, that is a white man's baby because the hair is blonde, the eye color. You know, I can. You know, the eye color. You know, can be possible to her eye color or something like that. But the thing is, from day one, I knew it was sketch because first off. Like I said, he posted a picture of her in the group message saying it's my possible uh, baby mama. Uh, I, when I called him about it, he told me that he met her at a truck stop. Why were you at a truck stop? First off, why are you out on the lot? You are a lot truck. lizard if you out she, there she was, sitting down hey, Chris, in the truck Trey, stop. she was what? filling up her car. No, no she didn't yeah, have no car, met, She jumped I'm in, in that big 18-wheeler. jumped in that big 18-wheeler. And, I was and, at and, a gas and, station. What does you, a, a gas station? Truck stop. stop. Can y'all let me talk? Because it's a truck stop. It's a gas station. You can gas. Who dropped you off? Who dropped you off? Right. I and met her. Know. I met her inside the I inside myself. the truck stop. I drove. You drove yourself, you. Chris. Okay. To be honest, okay. With you. I met her okay. Inside okay. The okay. Sir, I met okay. Your okay. This is about temper. And I recall you. You. You do have other children, correct? I have six children. Yes, I do. And if I recall. Um, you were not taking care of none, none of them because first off, you was around cross country running with my uncle. You have no right to speak on any of my other kids. I have changed my life. And now you, and now, and mother. now you have another mother. baby. Now you have another baby. Chris, shut. Uh, hey, because hey, 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 you hey. know nothing about me. Let, you know nothing like, about hey, me. Hey, we're hold on. What are we trying? Where you what we're trying to do right now, Chris? Tell everybody. Murray, can I please have a second to talk to Chris? Go ahead. All right, Trace, Chris, be quiet. I just want you to know. Yes, sir. I just want you to know you have hurt me down deep. So I loved you with everything in me. You was the best man that ever. The best thing that ever happened to me when I met you. Now I don't know why you are letting your nephew brainwash you, but your nephew has hey, nothing Mark. to do with this, and he would not know nothing, Chris. And I am very hey, Mark, devastated can I take a that you and, have betrayed me and told all of my business to your him. family. Okay. And this is why he's judging me, because you have told him my business, and that is not cool. If you don't mind, may I speak and say, you know, one or two things to Kimberly right quick? Yes. Um, to be honest with you, Kim, I was with you before this baby even appeared. But it's at the same time, because of the things that we went through, I kind of felt like I was getting taken advantage of. You want to be the father, you told me, correct? Yes, sir. This would be your only child, right? It would be. In the case of two-month-old Kemper, Chris, you are not the father. I oh knew it! God. That's the I'm white so sorry, man's Chris. baby! Uh, I yeah. knew it! I don't make no sorry! Murray, can don't I say please, sorry! Please speak to Chris? We knew yes. it! Yes. All right, Murray, Trey, it. Trey be quiet. Up, Go Chris. ahead. Tell Chris. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kimberly. I am so sorry, okay? You'll be all right. Thank, I, I say, thank you I, for I, everything you've you done. You saved me 18 years. Everyone, this is Alyssa. Welcome, Alyssa, to the show. Now, follow along. This is very important. Think about this in terms of age. Alyssa is 26. Four months ago, she had a beautiful baby boy named Anthony. With this man, 74-year-old Luis. But Alyssa says Luis's 26-year-old daughter, Barbara, is causing major drama because Barbara, the daughter, claims that Alyssa is a prostitute and there's no way this baby is her father. Meanwhile, Luis is a little bruised, I can understand, and desperate for answers. So before we speak to Alyssa, here's what the daughter, Barbara, had to say. My dad, Luis, is 74 years old. I'm his youngest child, and I'm 26. 
Alyssa is my age. She's saying that my dad is the father of her four-month-old baby? There's no way. Even the fact of thinking that she slept with my father that's 48 years older than her just makes me sick. Alyssa has made comments to me that my dad is not the only person she was sleeping with. I also heard that Alyssa has slept with lots of guys for money. When Alyssa gave birth, she didn't contact anyone in our family. I know why she waited. She wanted to see what color her baby came out. My father may be a giver and a pushover, but I am not. Alyssa, you're 26 years old. What the heck are you doing with a 74-year-old man? Maury, like I said, Maury, it is what it is. I, I, we met She's taking five years advantage ago. of him. That's Be what's quiet, happening. Baby. She's taking Be quiet. Did Luis think that he couldn't have kids? Yes, he, he told me he would fix Maury, and I, I took his word for it. So you weren't looking to have a child? No, I wasn't quite ready, so but this was God kind bless of a me. mistake, right? Right. But who do they think fathered the child? A black man. You see it! Does that son look black to you? No, I don't know. Take a look. Let's take a look at Anthony and see they what look he looks just like. Alike. Look, they look, Maury. Like? look, Maury. Look, Maury. Look, Maury. The eyebrows. Has Luis done anything for you? He tried, but everybody struggles, and I really do need a lot more help. You need a lot and more help. Especially from the family. We're gonna it's meet not Lu about me, Maurice. It's uh, about my son. Okay. I don't want him to be raised well, like I was. we're going to meet Luis in a minute. I want him to know who his family, who his sister, I and who his father his is. Daughter. By the way, the same age as you, here's uh, Luis's 26-year-old daughter, Barbara. Barbara, come on up. <laughs> pregnancy. I apologize. I didn't talk to him or my whole family, but this is the reason why I had to decide what's best for my son and what my son got to go through. I don't have time for that. No. Okay, I want to talk to Barb. No. We would have been willing to be there, what? but she pulled herself away from the family. I so know. she's pulling herself Everybody away from the family. Barb, what was it like when a 26-year-old woman comes to you and says, your father, Barbara, has just made me pregnant? Maury, <laughs> what am I supposed to think? Like, 26, 74, I'm 26, have, and my dad men, never, from men, 20, 20, 26 years, men, never had an men, incident men with someone getting pop, pregnant. Okay? He well, never guess got no one pregnant. You know I think it's God time to hear what Luis has to say. I'm 74 years old. I don't think I can still make a baby. I see Lisa all the time with all different kinds of men. I don't think the babies look like me. Because all the babies, they look the same way. Barbara say Lisa's a liar. My daughter Barbara, she still think that it's not my baby. So I don't know. Because I'm gonna still hope the baby one way or the other. This is crazy. So I still love the baby. But I hope Lisa is not a liar. Here's 74 year old Luis. Luis, come on out. Luis, I have to tell you in all the years, yeah. in all the shows, yes. 
You are the oldest father I've ever had on a DNA show. Thank you. Thank you. Young at heart. Thank you very much. Is that your son? No. Yes, that's uh, his son, Lori. No. I want, I, that's no. his son. I want to talk to Louise. Is that your son? I don't know. I hate to, I hate to, I hate to check it out before. I don't you know. You don't know? I don't know yet. You're confused. I'm confused, yes. You look confused. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'd be confused, too, if I'm 74 and have a baby come out of nowhere. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get around. Do you give her money? I don't know why she Do you give Alyssa money, Luis? Uh, once in a while, yes. Once in a while? Do you want to be the father of this child? Uh, I love it, yeah. You do? <laughs> He One says way. he loves it. Oh, he loves it. He loves kids, but not his. It's not his kids. Wait, don't My son loves to My son loves to My son loves to We're going to find out right now. 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 Barbara, if this, if this is his child, I want you to be... I want you to be his sister, okay? You know what? If this is no, my dad's no. baby, she hold on one do second. You don't need to cut me off. Listen, this is my dad's baby. By all means, he's you don't gonna know be me. loved. So you can't hold trust on. me now. You ain't I don't trust, trust you exactly. I wouldn't no. trust you with nothing. No. Listen, my son goes to bed. If it is my dad's baby, I'm gonna be the big sister. When it comes to four-month-old Anthony, Luis. You are the father! In 2018, we saw a situation unlike any other we'd ever seen on this stage. You see, Sierra came to the show because she admittedly led two men, DeAndre and Anthony, to believe that they were the father of her son, King. Here's the most shocking part. Both DeAndre and Anthony believed they were in a committed relationship with Sierra and knew nothing about each other. You told my producer, Sierra, you finally wanted to write all the wrongs that you've displayed. I gave both of them a DNA test, and I'm afraid that DeAndre may be the father, even though I'm with Anthony right now. Oh. Well, when was the last time that you and Anthony have been intimate? I had sex with Anthony about two weeks ago. Oh. And, and when was the last time you had uh, intimate relations with uh, DeAndre? Last night at our hotel. <laughs> This is what I get, Sierra, out of all this. When you got pregnant, you were seeing both of these people. Yes. And they didn't know about each other. Right. They still don't know about each other. Right. You got pregnant. Who did you tell first, Anthony? Yes. OK. And what was his reaction? He was happy. He takes care of my king. He does everything for king. He's there for king all the time. I don't quite understand something. You've got a guy who takes ca care of this little boy, yes. who's in this boy's life, yes. but you want to be with the other guy? I want to be honest to my son at the end of the day. I just want him to know who his father really is, and I want his father to take care of him. So Anthony and DeAndre have been backstage, and I said in the beginning, they don't know that they, each other is here, OK? This is what Anthony had to say before the show. From the day Sierra told me she was pregnant, I stepped up as a man. I rubbed her feet. I rubbed her back. And I gave her the emotional support she needed. I would lay down my life for King. Every time King sees me, his eyes light up because he knows I'm his father. Who's been buying his clothes and his pampers, his milk? It's been me. Sierra's never given me reason to believe that King is not my son. The fact that she bought me on the Maury show, it's disgusting. Sierra. It's women like you who turn good guys like me bad. 
This situation is especially hurting your son, and you're going to have to live with that for the rest of your life. There's Anthony. Nice to see you. And your little boy. Yeah, that's King. Yeah. Love of my life. Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> you got a great smile. Thank you. I bet that little boy recognizes that smile. Oh, of course. You should see his face light up when he sees me. You get a call from my show. Right. Were you surprised? To say the least, I was kind of pissed. <laughs> just, to, just to be honest, because I just didn't understand why Sierra couldn't come and talk to me and let me know, hey, you know, this is, this is a concern that I have and I want to get King tested. We could have we handled this at home. Wait a second. Sierra has come here to give you a paternity test. Exactly. But she also wants you. I want to tell you... Oh. Oh. I've been having sex still with DeAndre. Oh. You didn't have to bring me all the way to Maury just to, for this boy. This is a DNA test. You got me all the way out here to, just to tell me you still messing with him? You so, you goofy. Just <laughs> goofy. I didn't mean to break your heart. I wanted to let you know this now. I need you up here so we can take the DNA test. You got me on TV, see? I know. I wanted you to be here and understand that I'm not trying to hurt you and that I'm really trying to just make it all right because be I don't... Be a don't... adult. Let's go find out whose who's baby this is. Okay. So, Anthony, just to get this straight, you had no idea she was seeing this other fellow. I knew when the relationship first started that she was still seeing other people and that her baby's father was one of the potential people that could have been King's father. But I didn't know that since we become exclusive, she's still messing around with him. Guess what? The other guy doesn't know about you. So let me get this straight. You've been, you've been playing us both? Taking what care of King and doing everything for him. I didn't want to ruin what we had. Look, De DeAndre, he don't do anything for King. So you just using him for you? You selfish. I can't believe it. All right, everybody. So it's time we meet DeAndre. Here he is. Uh, how you doing, Maury? How are you, DeAndre? Nice, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Have a seat. How you doing? Fine. How are you? I'm all right. OK, DeAndre. Just to understand what's going on. You obviously know Sierra, right? Of course. You know this fella? No, I don't know who he is. OK, Sierra. Why don't, why don't you bring DeAndre up to date, Sierra? Yeah, bring, bring us all up to date. DeAndre. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? I've, I've been you know in what? a relationship with him. You been and what, I, man? And I've been having sex with him, too. What? Oh, man, that was crazy. I'm sorry, How long? but you wasn't there for King ever. What I've been else? having sex with him since the summer. Since, since the summer. But you've been talking to me in the summer. Oh. And you've been sitting up here speaking to him. That's why I'm here to get a DNA test. Okay. You should okay, hear some so of the he said about you, bro. Yeah. Let's get this straight. Yes, Maury. When was the last time that you and Sierra were intimate? Last night. <laughs> Did you tell him that? I'm ready to go. DeAndre. Yes, Maury. That little boy. Do you think that's your child? Maury. All my kids are dark. All my kids are dark. Right. Maury. Look at him. All my kids are dark. You hear me? All my kids have my hair. My facial features. He does not look like me. Listen, I'm like coffee. He looks like coffee. There he goes. You need to step no, up and take No, we ain't. You need to step up and take care of him. We wouldn't even be in this situation if you would step up. We wouldn't even be in this situation. We should 
need to be a man. We 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 so, and so, and to me, it seemed like you playing both of us then, right? That's exactly what she's been doing. Because I've been on that since summer of 16. Where you been, bro? Sierra, you got two guys out here. Both of them have been in your life. Both of them may be the father of this little boy. Who do you want to be with? I want to be with DeAndre. <laughs> if this test, come back. If this test, if this test. Because you can honestly sit here in my face and tell me you want to be with I'm this boy. Sorry, but this guy, even, when he ain't never, bought, he never bought a single diaper. Oh, just last week, when King just ran a fever, who went out half an hour just to borrow money so that I could buy the fever? Who bought it for half an hour to sit up here and tell me? Why are you so bad? No, no, no. I need to get in his life. You're not understanding. That's crazy. That's crazy. In the case of seven-month-old King, Anthony, you are not. Thank you. Give me my paper so I can go, because at, the, at this point, it's over. Like I, like I said, I'm still going to be a part of King's life, but me and you, we over with. Just give me my paper so I can go. You mad. You mad. You mad. You mad. And, and you just as goofy as she is, because she hey. just sat here and told you she was playing us both. In no, the I'm case not. of seven-month-old King, DeAndre, you are the father. Uh, ah! now, so what? You, are so you gonna step up and be so what? Yeah, I you will. Step up? I will. All right, then. I will. I will. Okay, but still, you, how you did it? Thank you, how you did it? Thank you, Mom. Nearly two years has passed since that taping, and we were wondering what happened to Sierra after that show. So I'm happy to report that Sierra and DeAndre are now engaged to be married and are expecting their third child. Fantastic news. You are not the father. <laughs>